What we're launching today is a resource called Lit Long Edinburgh, uh, and it's an attempt to map uh, Edinburgh's very rich literary heritage uh, in a so that it can be seen in a way that it hasn't been seen before. It's a collaboration between uh, the University of Edinburgh and St Andrews, uh, and we have uh, members of the team from literary studies, uh, from informatics, and from computer visualisation as well. So what we've done uh, is to bring those people together to collaborate on essentially text mining large repositories of books and we have then uh, from those produced a data set of works that are set in Edinburgh that use it as a location um, and what we've managed to do uh, is to pull out from that um, about 1600 separate places in more than 550 books uh, which has given us about 47,000 different place name mentions uh, showing where these books use Edinburgh places as a setting. The resource has a number of different aspects to it. There's a location visualiser which enables you to explore uh, the data set through a map um, and uh, through searching for various authors or for keywords uh, or for locations. Well there's a very familiar in some ways uh, literary history of Edinburgh. There are a series of great authors down the years who, who we all know, Walter Scott and Robert Louis Stevenson and Muriel Spark, to name but three. Um, uh, and people are familiar perhaps with their works and the way that they use the setting, uh, uh, Edinburgh as a setting. But what we've been able to do with this is actually to bring in a huge number of other works which are perhaps much more neglected, much less well known, um, but which also contribute to making Edinburgh a rich literary setting. This uh, is a resource that will work uh, for anywhere, really. Uh, we've done it in Edinburgh because we're based in Edinburgh, we know about Edinburgh writing. Um, it seemed most relevant to us to do it here and see what we could do. But having created it, uh, it's certainly something that could be rolled out elsewhere. Edinburgh is one of a number of UNESCO World Cities of Literature. Um, there are many others uh, who might also want to try the lit-long concept um, and see how it works for them.